How we doing today, folks? My name is Raven, and welcome to my reaction to Hood uh, Season 2, uh, the dev stream that they just had not too long ago. Um, I'll start off, I mean, I, I'm not doing this scripted. Uh, I wrote a bunch of bullet points, so we're just going to kind of run through them. Yeah. Uh, but this is kind of like what I've seen uh, from watching it and what I think about it. And <laughs> yeah, you know, here we go. Uh, first off, I mean, it was good to see the dev stream again. Uh, I think the last time we saw them was when season one released, and that was in the beginning of September. So like, you know, almost three months ago. Uh, the new season is called Yule, and it will be releasing on December 2nd. Oh, and let me add here too, because I just forgot, but uh, you'll be watching the gameplay in the background from that stream. Uh, name of the game mode is Gold Rush, and the objective is to be the first team to bank 2,000 gold. Now, how do you collect gold? Well, you get it from killing guards, uh, picking up glowing little loot objects around the map, and bringing a chest back to a spawn point. You get more gold from assassinating than straight up killing. Uh, you can carry up to 500 gold at a time, but the more gold you carry, the slower you move, and you start to glow gold for enemies to see you. Very interesting. There are three keys and three chests in play, but here's the kicker. Sheriff, dude's completely useless now. I mean, irrelevant. So like, at least before you had to get the key from Sheriff, he doesn't even carry a key in this game mode. I, it's all on sentries. I didn't... From the games I saw, I didn't see them pick off a key from Sheriff himself, so... It's like, why even have the Sheriff in this game mode, then? He, like, he literally shouldn't even be there, because now it's just more of an annoyance that he's there than an actual objective or obstacle in your way. Like, it just it doesn't make sense to me. Uh, when you tag an enemy, it shows you how much gold you're carrying. Uh, foot soldiers will carry less than a knight. A knight will carry more, you know. The stronger the enemy, the more gold they'll carry. Sheriff, again, useless, so he doesn't carry any gold. Uh, you don't get gold from killing players straight up, but if they are carrying gold, then they will drop that, you know, whatever they're carrying. Some spawn points have been moved. Uh, they said that most of them have moved. Uh, well, that's not entirely true. Uh, it was most notable noticeable on Coastal, where actually all three of the spawn points were in the docks area. Uh, well, that now directly makes the town area unplayable because, you know, the, there's no point in going over there now. It's like on Mountain, where if the chest in Outlaw Heist spawns in the keep, then there's literally no point to even go to the garrison side of the map. So now, again, it's kind of restricting play to one half of the map. I mean, sure, you can go over there with Robin, but, like, where the points are, it's just, it doesn't even make sense to be over there by town. Uh, the graveyard, on graveyard, actually, uh, B was the only point that I saw moved. Uh, you know, A and C were still in those ruins. B, they just brought it above ground, uh, kind of like directly where it was. And the two games I saw them play on Outpost, all three of the spawn points were on the usual spots along the wall. Yeah, yeah. You know, where A and C is, and then B is kind of like to the left toward bridge, but it's still along the wall. Yeah, so I, I don't know what they're talking about with the spawn points moving, but sure. Uh, from what I've seen, the game mode really isn't Robin friendly, at least to my play style, because you have to physically go and grab the gold from killed enemies. So if you're sitting there just sniping back, I mean, your, your teammates sure can pick it up, but, you know, it, it's, you're just, then you're not, never really going to carry gold. But I mean, if you do the, the freaking Razor Overpowered Razor Robin, well, I mean, you're going to be revelant, revelant. You're going to be relevant when it comes to collecting the gold. Uh, big issue though for me is the fact that this game mode is available alongside the other game modes. So Outlaw Heist and State Heist. I mean, I gotta bring it up, but like, because yeah, yeah, yeah. it's obvious, but like the, you know, you look back at Steam charts or you ask anyone that plays this game, I mean, you're never gonna find a game ever if you're just solo queuing, even if you have crossplay on. And the last time I checked, I mean, this game has 12 people, I think, at a time playing, maybe 25 at like a peak hour. Guys, it's not gonna. This is going to make it even worse. I mean, sure, everyone's going to come back and play the new game mode, but like once, I don't, it's not even going to last a week because after a couple of days, we're either A, going to get bored of it because so far from what I've seen, I'm not the biggest fan of the new game mode. And then you're going to have everyone go back to playing State Heist or whatever, Outlaw Heist. And then you have this now bridge of, or, or not a, an, a non-existing bridge between the two game modes. So now you're going to split the player base and with 12 people 
and you know you need eight to play a game, well, th there's going to be some issues there. Uh, that's just me. Um, they also mentioned tweaks to the game, but unknown if that's actually going to be balancing or if it's just bug fixes that, you know, like the bugs that have been in the game since beta. I didn't play beta, but bugs that I've heard that were in beta are still in the game, you know, today. So that's great. Uh, I'll touch real quick on like the skins they showed off. Um, they were using uh, some new ones in the stream. Uh, it was okay. I mean, nothing exciting, really. Still kind of the, our same typical character models with slight tweaks and colorations. One of the John skins and the hammers looked actually pretty good. Uh, I was a fan of that. But uh, one of the Robin bows looks exactly like that red skull bow from season one. And this new season looks like it's dragon themed. Because everything they were showing off were like dragon kind of armor, dragon weapons. And last season was all skull stuff. So, okay. They're picking an animal or creature to flavor the season with. And it's going to be another battle pass, which I'm sure we're all going to breeze through. Uh, they didn't really show it off. They didn't show it off at all, actually. And then, like, I'll throw in a little quick little side note, but, like, you know, if they really wanted to, they could. But clearly, there's no store still. And, like, why can't we just have bundles? I'll buy a bundle if it looks fucking cool, changes the character model a bit, and even gives them a really cool weapon. So I'll touch again on the game mode, but this is this is, here's where it's, like, more of my opinions, sort of. Uh, so like the spawn timers are low, it, I, they don't get as high as 20 seconds like they do in, uh, Outlaw Heist when you get toward the end of winching. Um, 10 seconds was the highest I saw and that was when they were about to win. They were like 100 gold off winning. So, I, you know, the, not, there's not gonna really be much gap between spawns, which, again, cause, in theory, this is a more team deathmatch based game mode, but, we'll carry on. Uh, at the end of the match, you don't even get to see player kills. It literally only shows you assassinations. Which, again, now you're emphasizing stealth play. Because we're going to get into more of this. But it's weird that the game mode is emphasizing less teamwork. But it's still going for a more solo queue style. But kills aren't a priority. It's still assassination. So why is stealth being favored in a more team deathmatch-esque game mode? You know, you get more gold from assassinating. Stealth. You get more gold from placing a chest if you can do it quickly. Stealth. It Sure, you can, like, you know, go back and forth with a chest, but with three in play, what's stopping, like, you know, two people from working one chest while the other two try to stop the other team, you know? If two teams have a chest each at the same time, then are you going to send those two to stop them? Or are you going to protect, like, it's... It doesn't really make... It, it, it's weird, man. It doesn't make sense. To me, at least. For someone who's played the game over 400 hours. And, yeah, and, it, and it, it falls under, like, again, like, the pacing doesn't feel... I keep saying feel like I haven't literally played it yet, but, like, just from looking at it, like, it doesn't look good. Uh, it's it's a game mode, you know, you're centering around hoarding the gold, but then there's not emphasis on denying that player gold. Like, it, sure, like, there's a risk-reward with carrying more gold, because you're going to be moving slower, but you have more. And that's, you know, if you are carrying up to 500, I don't know what that looks like in the sense of moving or like how, how much you're glowing, but you know, 500 gold is a quarter of what you need to win. So sure, that's a lot, but now you're, you're making it so that that player has to move slower, putting a big target on their back where you look at kind of any other game mode where there's quote unquote bounties and it, they still move the same speed. I mean, I'm just thinking of league off the top of my head, but it's also also that there's there's no real excitement in actually preventing a chest grab when you can just go grab another one. You know what I mean? So, like, the game mode abruptly ends once you bank enough gold to win. And at least in the Outlaw Heist, there's that constant back and forth of intense gameplay once you do get to the winchy phase. I mean, even from playing in our, our Hood Weekly on Tuesdays where we have eight good players in every match, I mean, we drag out those matches almost the full time. And that's fun. This just looks like it's gonna either go really quick or it's just you're not gonna get that same feel from Outlaw Heist, at least in my opinion, which I really prefer Outlaw Heist. And I'm sure they've been working on this game mode actually since the game launched itself because if you think about it, everyone hated the winch system, how you could just steal it, you know, right at the end before they changed it. Well, then they changed it and indirectly made the game more competitive, which made it more fun. But then they still don't care about making the game competitive. And then they come out with this game mode to try to please people that don't like Outlaw Heist. Well, now you're 
But then we go back to the fact that you're going to split the player base because now both these game modes are going to be available come December 2nd. Um, and like, I, I get it. It's supposed to be a different feel from Outlaw Heist, but it doesn't mean it's good or it's going to be that X factor that pulls people in and says, hell yeah, dude, I want to play Hood Outlaws and Legends every day again. Nah, man, like I said, we do Hood Weeklies on Tuesdays. I play for three, maybe four hours. I'm good for the whole week until next Tuesday. I it, it, I don't know, man. Like, when this comes out, I, I don't think it's really going to pull me back in to be playing it every day. I mean, look at all the other games you can play right now and the ones coming out. So, very strange. But my rant's over. If you want, we can debate this in, in the comments down below, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Uh, follow me on Twitter, join my Discord, and support me on Patreon if you wish. Links to those in the description below. I will catch you guys in the next one. Later. Bye.